percent change, if you want a formula, a way of remembering it, you can think of the amount of change, okay, like you know what it's changing by, divided by the original amount. And this is the key. A lot of students will accidentally divide by the new amount. You want to divide by the original amount, okay, because you want to see how it's changing compared to where, where it was before, right? <laughs> okay, now another way to think about it, and sometimes I just think about it this way in my own mind, I just think it's the new minus the old divided by the old. So just real simple, new minus old divided by old. Now let's look at a couple examples. So say something's $30, right? And now it's $40. Now you can see that it's increasing by $10. So we're just gonna say $10, but compared to what? Compared to 40 or compared to 30? Ah, compared to 30, right? Because you wanna see how it's changing compared to how much it was originally. Okay, now if we uh, divide here, 10 divided by 30 comes out to 0.333, you know, on and on, repeating. So you could write this as a percent by moving the decimal two places. It's going to be 33.3% like that. Okay, now the one thing that I like about this formula, new minus old over old, is we would say, okay, the new amount is 40 minus the old amount, which is 30, divided by 30. And we can see that this is coming out to a positive number. So that means that this is positive, which means that this is a 33.3% increase. Now, a lot of students will say, well, that's kind of obvious. We went from 30 to 40. But sometimes it just helps when you're doing this. If you get a negative number, that'll trigger in your mind, oh, negative, that's going down, it's decreasing. Okay, so let's go to the next example, 100 to 80. So here, uh, we'll just use my example here, new minus old over old. So we've got the new amount, 80, minus the old amount, which is 100, divided by the old amount, which is 100. So you can see this is coming out to a negative 20 over 100. That negative just tells me that it's gonna be a decrease, okay? And if I uh, divide these, you can see I'm getting a, a 0 0.20, which is 20%. So it's a 20% decrease. And you wanna write that in your, when you do your problems, you know, such and such percent increase, such and such percent decrease. And again, you can either look at the original amount, you can see it's going down. Here you can see it's going up. So that'll take care of that part. Or if you just want to do the new minus old over old, positive means you know going up and negative means you know decreasing going down. So I hope this helped you to understand how to work with percent change better. Subscribe to the channel, check out some of my other videos on Mario's Math Tutor and YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.